Now that we've seen how to define the angle between two non-zero vectors in Rn using the dot product, we can consider what it means for two vectors in Rn to be orthogonal. Certainly, the angle between the vectors should be 90 degrees, or pi over 2. So then, we look at the definition for the angle between the vectors, and ask, when is that angle pi over 2? Well, the angle between the vectors is defined as an inverse cosine function. Theta, we want to equal pi over 2. Typically, we think of the angle as the input of cosine. And cosine of pi over 2 is 0. If you remember your unit circle, cosine there is 0. So we have to ask, what would make the input here 0? Because if we put 0 into the inverse cosine, that's what's going to give us pi over 2. Well, the input here, u dot v divided by the magnitudes, would be 0 only if the dot product is 0. The division is never going to be a division by zero because we're saying the vectors are non-zero, so their magnitudes are non-zero as well. But if the dot product is zero, that's what's going to make this inverse cosine, and hence the angle, pi over two. And that's how we define orthogonal vectors in Rn. The vectors are orthogonal if and only if their dot product is zero. That's equivalent to the angle between them being pi over two, which means orthogonal as we traditionally think of it. So here's our definition. Two non-zero vectors in Rn are said to be orthogonal or perpendicular, although usually we'll use orthogonal in general, Perpendicular is often just reserved for lines. We say they're orthogonal if their dot product is zero. Now this argument did not apply to zero vectors. We will consider the zero vector in Rn to be orthogonal to every vector in Rn. Now let's see some examples. Suppose we want to show that this vector u and this vector v are orthogonal. These two vectors, of course, exist in R4, so this is not a space where we have a great picture in our heads of what it means for two vectors to be orthogonal. But now that we have our definition, we can show that they are orthogonal very easily. All we have to do is calculate the dot product, u dot v. Since we have these in component form, we'll use the component form of the dot product. So just multiply corresponding components and add them together. So 2 times 3 will be 6, and then plus 4 times negative 1 will be negative 4, plus negative 6 times 1 is negative 6, plus 2 times 2 is 4. So adding these all together, the negative 4 and positive 4 cancel out, the 6 and negative 6 cancel out, we see the dot product is 0, hence by definition, u and v are orthogonal. So that's how easy it is. If we have two non-zero vectors, just take their dot product. If the dot product is zero, the angle between them necessarily would be pi over two. And so we say the vectors are orthogonal. Here's one more quick example. Let s be the set of standard basis vectors in R cubed, so i, j, and k. Show that each pair of vectors in s is orthogonal. We understand this, right? When we sketch a three-dimensional coordinate system, we're trying to picture the axes as being mutually orthogonal. I goes along the x-axis, J goes along the y-axis, and K goes along the z-axis. They are all perpendicular to each other. Of course, to verify this, we could look at the individual products, I dot J, I dot K, and j dot k, understanding that the dot product is commutative, so this would cover both orders, and we're just dotting these together. Now, in each case, where a standard basis vector has a 1, the other standard basis vector will necessarily have a 0. We, say, we see that in each case. i has a 1 in the first component and zeros elsewhere, whereas k has a 1 in the third component and zeros elsewhere. So, of course, all of these dot products are equal to 0, and so all of these standard basis vectors are orthogonal to each other. So that's a quick look at orthogonal vectors and how we show two vectors are orthogonal. They are orthogonal if the angle between them is pi over 2, which can be checked by looking at the dot product. If the dot product is 0, the vectors are orthogonal.
Let me know in the comments if you have any questions, and be sure to check out my Linear Algebra course and Linear Algebra Exercises playlists in the description for more. Thanks for watching. Uh, uh, I'm the mathematical menace, the machinations of mankind, two calculators at the same time, hand signs and abacus, finger count and calculus, I'm the V to the T, my parameter, the rapidest, happens like this, my lectures, the most prominent, dominant, call me the Morgan, I get the compliments, the union in together like any time that we intersect, cause my opponents know they need